story is making the headlines in Nigerian newspapers. I have with me in the studio a chartered accountant and public affairs analyst, Shasson Kwande, and CEO of CKN News, Chris Kende Oandu. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's look at the newspapers this morning. The Daily Trust is saying here, Kano government kicks as court dissolves Ganduje created Emirates. We'll study the verdicts as assembly. Protests in Rano, Gaia, Bichi, Karai. The blueprint says new Kano Emirates a nullity. Court rules will still, will still recognize them. Government insists, urges calm. The news directs is saying Senate approves value added tax increase to 7.5%. PDP man LCCI Nasima Kik say VAT hike to worsen cost of doing business. Daily Trust, sa uh, Daily Times rather, says PNID federal government files 32 count amended charge against uh, uh, Nolan accuses Nolan ICIL of money laundering, tax evasion, failure to submit VAT return. The nation says Buhari to security agents crush kidnappers, bandits. That's uh, in the nation newspaper this morning. The Daily Sun says here prices to go up as Senate OK's VAT hike also endorses 56 tax amendments. Labour OPS condemn increase. This day, says Buhari warns against kidnappers, bandits holding Nigeria to ransom, orders security forces to be ruthless with criminals. Herders killed more Nigerians in 2018 than Boko Haram, say reports. That's in this day, this morning. So we'll look at the story in the Daily Sun newspaper. Of course, it's in major headlines here. Prices to go up as Senate OK's VAT hike. Also endorses 56 tax amendments. Labour OPS condemn increase. Uh, gentlemen, uh, we've been uh, there was a 7.5 increase in VAT recently after the president okayed the new minimum wage, uh, the 30,000 naira minimum wage, and so the Senate has endorsed it, and it means that we're going to have uh, we're going to be charged 7.5% in taxes every month. So how how does this news come to you? Well. <coughs> Surprising, will I say? I'm not surprised um, because it's obvious that government is out to look for all sorts of avenues to be able to increase its uh, internal generated revenue, and um, they have been doing this with other in other sectors and the rest of them. Don't forget that they started with the with the banks charges, yeah. then there was the, the, the telecom, which although was shut down, and so many other ones before coming to VAT. But my problem is that. Um, I don't know why our government have decided to overtax the people. Nigerians are already overtaxed. We have other taxes. We pay multiple. Taxes. We multiple. It, it, yeah. It's just crazy. Okay, government should be more creative in the approach to um, generating funds instead of overtaxing people. In order, for, in order for that, are even coming down in some countries. Mm. Okay, because. You realize that most often they are not. And what they, they say, the tax luxury goods. What do you mean by luxury? What are luxury goods? <laughs> what, are the what are the luxuries that Nigerians are enjoying? Okay. Food items, just like a man and some other um, LCC and rest of them are complaining already because this is going to skyrocket the prices of goods and services. Mm. You say you are increasing um, minimum, minimum wage, wage by one hand, and you're trying to use tax to collect it from the other hand. And don't forget, when we talk of minimum wage increase, it is only a certain fraction, fraction of the, the workforce that we're talking about, mm. those in federal and state uh, parastatals. Don't forget, uh, the major, major, majorly are within the uh, uh, other sectors. Mm. So you come to realize that the issue of tax shouldn't be the problem now. Instead of increasing, they should be thinking of decreasing the, the VAT. In other countries, at the end of it, people file in this thing and get returns. Yeah. But that is what at the is, end of the year. That is what happens in other climes. Whatever you pay, at the end of the year, you just file your return and you begin back. It happens in the United States and some other. In fact, I know that even in UK, in United Kingdom, that the, about a year or so, I traveled to the UK. I, I, I'm not a British citizen. I was told that whatever I buy in the stops, I should just keep my receipt. My receipt. As I got to the airport, I just presented it, and I was given all, all I paid. Hmm. Yes, I was given all I paid. So you understand what I'm trying to say? And that was it. But here, what are we having? It's not the same situation. It's very appalling. And anyway, let's see how it let's, goes. Okay, let's hear from Sestra. 
the way and manner that we run this country, it will shock you that uh, this is the line that we decide to toll after mm. giving a little increase on the minimum wage. Uh, let the truth be told, most of the money that we're recouping in the terms of uh, uh, revenue that we claim that we want to increase, we are not getting value for it. This VAT we're talking about is on services. And basically, the infrastructure that are supposed to be in place for you to maximize your profit, for you to be able to make this tax available, are not just there. We have said it times to that number. We, we, we collect VAT on a central base and share to so many places. I, I, I have advocated that there should be derivative too for tax. Okay. There are some states who does not generate anything from this value added tax. And you use the same money of which you share if you, if you look from the last uh, allocation. Uh, FAC allocation. Yeah. Some of those things are shared to state that uh, they don't. And you discover that this ma majority of those things are generated from states like Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja, and <laughs> Abuja. And some, some state does not even generate one over 100 of what mm. others are generating. So you discover that there is imbalance. People that you take the tax from are not getting value for now, some of those things. There's another issue now. The issue of um, multiple taxation. I went to eat somewhere. I got my receipt when I saw that consumption mm -hmm. tax was there. Mm -hmm. Also tax, VAT, VAT was VAT there, VAT there VAT the consumption yeah. tax yes. as well. Mm -hmm. It was a huge issue for mm -hmm. me. And I began to wonder why we have to pay taxes on everything that we have to, we, we have to we buy. We are not looking in the direction we should do. Here, there is serious multiple taxation. You are talking of the legal one. Even what of the legals, the fines, mm -hmm. the, 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 the fees that people pay, some of these market women, they yeah. cry fouler and they are unable to make any margin. Majority of some of those things, they are not making any margin because bulk of it go back to the government. We are talk the, the ones we are talking of now are the legal taxes they are collecting. After paying those ones, you discover that the local government, we ask them to pay some fees, received and unreceived mm -hmm. for, how do you want people to break even? This is uncalled for. If you must even do this, we would have seen that there are values that we are getting, but we are not getting the value. Our roads are not there, there is no power. People run generator 24 seven. The roads are terrible. A car that you should use for, for a, a span of four years, on that six months, it's gone down the drain. Mm. So at that same they level- You wonder what the taxes are used for. <laughs> it's, that, that's the it's, major thing. You see, if you want to hike anything, Nobody will query it if we've been getting value. But because before now, there are no value attributed to the things that you've been getting. Mm. And like, right. <laughs> like he said, yeah. outside the country there, at yeah. the end of the year, people are always happy okay. to get the, tax returns. This, okay. the, the basic for me is that I think government should be looking at be able to just have to be able to cut the loopholes one and the bleeding okay. which we are experiencing in governments. Look at government have, have been able to cut down excesses. Uh, the excesses of government our, yes, government excesses. Okay, national assembly, uh, state assembly, constituency projects, constituency projects governors, uh, ministers, and the rest. Of, how right. many of them have reduced their aids? We are talking. Of, you understand what I'm saying? You are asking the people to pay to be able to contribute. But what of you? What is the sacrifice that we get? Mm. If you see the number of aids that an average senator has. If you see the number of is that is House of Representatives, then go, have you seen a convoy of a governor all right, all right. in it Nigeria? <laughs> and the number at two, in terms of... All right. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's all encompassing here. It's of course, we have to end it here at this point. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen, thank for talking to us. At Stories Making the Headlines in Nigerian Newspapers, with me in the studio is Chartered Accountant and uh, Public Affairs Analyst, Cheson Okwade. Good morning. Welcome to morning. TBC Breakfast. We also have uh, the uh, Chief Executive Officer of uh, uh, CKNE is Chris Kende Wandu. It's good to have you join good us. Good. Thank God it's Friday. Right, yeah. thank God it's Friday. And you're dressed for the part. Exactly. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right, other than, uh, except for me, Cheson and um, Chris are good to go. Yeah. All right, so let's um, dive straight into the papers. Beginning with Daily Trust, Kano government kicks as court dissolves Ganduje created Emirates. The riders read thus will study the verdict says the assembly and there's a protest recorded in Rano, Gaya, Bichi and Karaye areas in uh, Kano 
to blueprints which read steel on the Emirates story, new Kano Emirates anology court rules will still recognize them. That's uh, from the government, but, but then the Kano government is also calling for calm. News Direct reads as Senate approves value added tax increase to 7.5 percent. PDP, MAN, LCCI, Nasima Kik say VAT hike to worsen cost of doing business. Daily Times is reading, leading with uh, bringing back the PNID issue. FG files 32 count amended charge against Nolan accuses him an ISIL of money laundering, tax evasion, failure to submit VAT returns. We're still getting a new development on the PNID uh, scandal. But to the nation we go, where President Buhari has charged security agents to crush kidnappers and bandits. Delta doctor taken on highway, nurse and mother, seven others abducted. Uh, this uh, one recorded in Kaduna State. Let's check out Daily Sun. It's leading with prizes to go up as Senate OK's VAT hike. Also endorses 56 tax amendments, Labor OPS condemn increase. Our final paper this uh, time is the, this day. Buhari warns against kidnappers, bandits holding Nigeria to ransom, order security forces to be ruthless with criminals. Herders killed more Nigerians in 2018 than Boko Haram. That's according to an international report. Gentlemen, this is the crux of our discussion at this time. Uh, Chris, let me start with you. Uh, so what do you make of the security situation? It's been said to be a little bit unpredictable. Is that what you make of uh, the readings at this time? Yes, it is. Uh, and uh, I think the president, uh, it has gotten to a point where the president once again has to call out on security chiefs across board um, to take decisive actions and our security officers to also be up and doing um, in making sure that um, this, this uh, is nipped in the board. But come to think of it, uh, we've always had this issue of insecurity. Um, it used to be Boko Haram, from Boko Haram we moved to headers, headers, headsmen, now kidnappers. Um, before then we've had the crisis in the Niger Delta and the rest of them. But the way it is presently, it is very, very alarming because people cannot, now they go to people's houses to even kidnap them. They don't even wait for you on the highway any longer. There have been instances and, and the most difficult part of it is that even security agents have been kidnapped. A DP was kidnapped in Adama yes, just a few days ago. Right. Before then, uh, another DP uh, uh, in Niger State was also picked up. Okay. And um, there have been instances where even military, uh, military men, uh, military officers, um, uh, mm -hmm. um, just about two weeks ago, a high court, federal high court judge was picked in, um, in Benin. That's so it is across board. Yesterday or two days ago, the driver to the commissioner, or a commissioner in, uh, in Oyo State was shot dead. You know, why the commission? So it, 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 it has become a big problem. And the most difficult and most interesting part of it is that across board, it's not just in a particular, before it would used to be segmented to some parts of the country, the country, but now it is across board. The Kaduna Abuja Highway, despite all the efforts being put in by the security agency, is still unsafe. The Lokoja Abuja Highway is a very, very difficult terrain to pass through. Oshogbo, um, the Ogbomo and Shaw Oshogbo as is towards that. Is, even, the Lagos, even the Lagos Ibado Expressway yes. is, 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 so it's across. But so and the, there are a lot of trouble spots now, if we could term uh, all these uh, notorious areas now uh, uh, as such. But, but then there should be some uh, hope now in the horizon. Or how, what do you make of what's been called the law in uh, crimes especially along these highways there's not been much reports even though all of a sudden uh, s reports of kidnappings sprung up again yesterday in Kaduna state a uh, nursing mother and her one month old baby were also kidnapped uh, the president the president buhari has not talked about uh, this is not the time to be complacent, uh, even though there has been a lull somewhat but what do you think uh, the security operatives can do now you, the the issue I foresee at this point is that our security people are trying to the best of their ability, but the sincerity there is that we are not proactive. Some of these guys study 
these uh, security details and they beat them to it most of the time. Uh, I see we don't have the requisite number of security personnel to match what we're saying currently. You, you, you discover that we are expected to, at every point, expected to have people that keeps guard over that area. And that's why at a time, people have actually called for community policing. So that a particular area, you can have people in that area who understand the terrain, not an outsider who doesn't have the understanding of where he's actually policing or is guiding. This Lagos Ibadan Expressway, made, you know before now it's always the north area, the, the northeast, now it has come to the west. There is no part of the western state that you want to travel to now that you save. Is it uh, if uh, uh, Akure Road, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, even within the state. So you discover that we need more security personnel, well trained, who are proactive to action. Some of them are so, they are so fatigued that we overstretch them and they are unable to. Somebody who works beyond the stipulated hours, you expect him to just fact that at a particular time, he will want to just get off the road. Also, proper training. You discover that some of our uh, 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 security men are not even where they are supposed to be. They are just possibly under a place where they can make you know, ends meet for themselves and not on the major highway that we expect. So we want a situation where people trail them. Mm. You see, it has gone to the level where you need to monitor where and where people are to really say that, okay, we are the point where you should be. All right, uh, gentlemen, let's, let's leave it at this point now. Uh, so much to ponder on, but then time is not our friend at this time. Asha Sonokwade and Chris Kendewandu, thank you very much for the nuggets uh, you have put on Newspaper Review uh, on the show thank today. Thank you very much. Thank you both, and enjoy the weekend thank you. Uh, by all means. The story is making the headlines in Nigerian newspapers I have with me in the studio. A chartered accountant and public affairs analyst, Shaso Kwade, and CEO of CKN News, Chris Kendewandu. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thanks for having morning. us. Thank All right, let's look at the papers this morning. Uh, we have several of them. I uh, will start with the Daily Trust. It says here, Kano government kicks as court uh, dissolves Genduje created Emirates. The writer says, we'll study the verdict, says Assembly. Protesting Ranul Gaya Bichikarai. <coughs> excuse me. The blueprint is saying here, new Kano Emirates and nullity court rules. We'll still recognize them. Government insists, urges calm. Senate, uh, that's in the new direct now, Senate approves value-added tax increase to 7.5%. PDP, man, LCCI, Nasima kick, say VAT hike to worsen cost of doing business. The Daily Times says PNID, federal government files 32 counts, amended charge against Nolan, accuses Nolan, ICIL of money laundering, tax evasion, failure to submit VAT return. The Nation newspaper says... Buhari to security agents, crush kidnappers, bandits. The writer says, Delsu doctor taken on highway, nursing mother, seven others abducted. The Daily Sun says, prices to go up as Senate OK's VAT hike. Also endorses 56 tax amendments. Labor, OPS condemn increase. Uh, the This Day newspaper says, Buhari warns against kidnappers, bandits holding Nigeria to ransom. Order security forces to be ruthless with criminals. Herders killed more Nigerians in 2018 than Boko Haram, says report. And the Daily Trust, of course, we will look at the headlines in the Daily Trust newspapers this morning. It says here, Kano government kicks as court dissolves Ganduje created Emirates. We'll study the verdict, says Assembly. Protest in Rano Gaya, Bichi, Karai. That's in Daily Trust this morning. Uh, looking at this issue now, uh, uh, CKN, uh, the, this, the four... Emirates councils were created uh, b before the elections, uh, after the elections rather, mm. when uh, uh, they were trying to the, uh, reduce the powers of the Emir of Kano State at that point. Now, the court has nullified, dissolved the Emirates councils in Rano, Gaia, Bichia and Karai. Uh, what do you t what's your take on it? Well, um, the judge in his wisdom, um, according to his judgment, said that the the creation of the 